You have said, I want to give you your quote, the level of cynicism and skepticism toward government we have is unprecedented and suggests that's why people are more than ever open to stories about big bad government. When did that start to happen, do you think? When did it start to happen? Yeah. When, growing it's, cynicism. It's hard. It, it's, well, it, it's hard to say, Larry. I guess you can look at the polls and tell the wrong track, right track uh, numbers pretty objectively. And, and back in the, the 50s and to a certain extent in the, in the 60s, you know, uh, people seemed to uh, think that their country was on the right track. Uh, my personal experience, of course, uh, kind of starts with Watergate yeah. in, uh, in the early 70s, and uh, obviously that contributed to it. Uh, I think uh, uh, technology has contributed to it. I think the mass media, um, I think that uh, the, uh, the, the coverage that we have of everything that happens uh, nowadays. Also, I think that the division that we have in politics nowadays, which... Uh, uh, has been exacerbated mm. by some intractable problems, you know, or debt and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, it's all contributed to people kind of wanting probably more than they have a right to expect and being constantly frustrated uh, by not getting it. My own personal view is that uh, politics are probably cleaner today from a standpoint of of bringing black bags, you know, into the back door with ca full of cash and that sort of thing. But uh, obviously, the, the stakes are much, much higher for us as citizens because of some of these intractable problems we have, and people get frustrated over that. 